Joe's time is money, and the city of Columbus is working to save both for people traveling the city streets. Crews are upgrading some of the city stoplights to keep things rolling. Our Jory Talley joins us with more. Jory. The new method will keep traffic moving more efficiently and more um, importantly, and it was actually an example played out all over here at this intersection where the new system was first installed. The city's engineer says it's the latest of its kind and will save time and gas for drivers. Red lights are a fact of life for drivers, a necessary evil, but some of those lights seem to stay red much longer than necessary. That has the city of Columbus working on a new method to keep things moving. It's going to help the lights and where you won't have this backup of people sitting there waiting for the light to change. The old system is kind of slow and we get a lot of complaints and hey, you need an officer at this intersection to control the light. This way my officers can get out and do more, be doing better things to taking care of our community. Right now, a loop is what detects cars at several traffic lights across town, but the goal is to have radars replace the loop. If you're not on top of the loop, if you pull up too far or you stop short, it won't detect you and the signal is going to operate on a, a system of minimum and maximum times based on how long that vehicle sits on that loop for detection. So the radar operates in the same way, except for it's not dependent on the asphalt or the condition of the roads. It's on the pole and it can see you. And you'll soon be able to see it at these intersections across the friendly city. We're going to do it along 18th Avenue, starting at Highway 45 and go all the way to Military Road. Mm -hmm. uh, we're also looking to add it at a new signal that's going in at Ridge Road and Military. And also we may look to add it at Martin Luther King and Military Road to add some efficiencies in there. City engineer Kevin Stafford says Falcon Drive on Highway 37 is the first intersection to have the radar. The issues we've been having are the loops are in the ground in the pavement, so they're very dependent on the condition of the pavement. And over time, as they break, we have to actually call in a contractor to repair them. Contractors that we get are not local, and so therefore we have a time lag from when they break uh, to when they get repaired, which causes obviously a lot of inefficiencies with the traffic. Now, if something goes wrong with the detectors, repair crews are right down the road. The key is is that Columbus Light and Water, who maintains all the signals, can actually do this in house. They can install the radar, they can fix it, they can hook it up to the system, and so now when a system goes down immediately, they can come out and repair it. Mm -hmm. uh, the other side of it is is while it may cost a little more on the front end, it's also going to last longer than the loops do. Stafford says the radar seemed to be a lot more reliable and plus effective since repairs to the system don't involve tearing up city streets. Reporting live here in Columbus, Jory Talley, WCBI News.